Uh, we're told uh, that Anthony Weiner, the congressman from New York, will be walking through that door uh, very, very soon. Maybe this is him. There he is right now. He's going up to the microphones to announce his resignation. Good afternoon. About 20 years ago, I stood in this very same room here at the Council Center and asked my neighbors for their help to take a chance on me in electing me to the City Council. Then some seven years later, I asked those same people to join with people in Queens in sending me to Congress. There is no higher honor in a democracy than being sent by your neighbors to represent them in the United States House of Representatives. It is particularly humbling to represent this district because the communities and families of the 9th Congressional District are hardworking, they're patriotic, they're opinionated, they are authentic. I have never forgotten my neighbors because they represent the same middle-class story as mine. I went to public schools my whole life. My mother was a school teacher for 32 years. My father went to law school on the GI Bill. The middle-class story of New York is my story, and I'm very proud of that. I'm here today to again apologize for the personal mistakes I have made and the embarrassment I have caused. I make this apology to my neighbors and my constituents, but I make it particularly to my wife, Huma. I had hoped to be able to continue the work that the citizens of my district elected me to do, to fight for the middle class and those struggling to make it. Unfortunately, the distraction that I have created has made that impossible. So today, I am announcing my resignation from Congress. So my colleagues can get back to work, my neighbors can choose a new representative, and most importantly, that my wife and I can continue to heal from the damage I have caused. He's not with us. Throw him out. He's not with us. To repeat, most importantly, most importantly, so that I can continue to heal from the damage that I have caused. I want to thank my colleagues in the House of Representatives, Democrats and Republicans alike. They come from different places around the country, but fundamentally, we all agree. They're all patriots, and I will miss them all. Thank you. I also want to express my gratitude to members of my staff, there are young people who are not paid very much. There are people that work very hard and very long hours. Ultimately, those people define the notion of service. I want to thank, of course, the many people who have helped me, the people who have volunteered, the people who have given me advice, the many of my constituents who have offered me good ideas. And of course, I want to express my gratitude to my family to my mother and father who instilled in me the values that carried me this far, to my brother Jason, and of course to my wife Huma, who has stood with me through this entire difficult period and to whom I owe so very much. I got into politics to help give voice to the many who simply did not have one. Now I'll be looking for other ways to contribute my talents to make sure that we live up to that most New York and American of ideals. The idea that leaving a family, a community, and ultimately, a country is the one thing that all unites us, the one thing we're all focused on. With God's help and with hard work, we will all be successful. Thank you and good afternoon. Will you maintain your hot and So there you have it. He spoke uh, for uh, almost exactly four minutes, uh, answering no questions, uh, apologizing once again, formally announcing he's resigning as a United States member of the House of Representatives, uh, Anthony Weiner.
Uh, didn't break down and cry. He got a little bit emotional. You heard one heckler in the back there screaming out, uh, not unusual in this kind of a situation, but uh, explaining that he first and foremost apologizes to his wife, Huma. They've been married for exact, a little bit less than one year, and as all of our viewers by now know, she's also pregnant uh, with their first child. Uh, John King, you were just watching together with, with, with all of the other viewers who were out there. Uh, you know, a lot of us thought he was just going to issue a statement on paper. He came out and made the statement to his constituents and to all of us, but he didn't stick around for questions, which was probably smart. Uh, probably smart uh, for him. Uh, you could tell that was a feisty room. There was at least one uh, non-journalist in there who came just to make a statement. And uh, as sad as this chapter is, and whatever your opinions of Anthony Weiner at home, uh, he should have been able to deliver his statement without being interrupted. Uh, he deserves the common courtesy of that. However, that didn't happen. Uh, it's interesting. He made the point, Wolf, and people will say, why did he not just put out a paper statement? Why did he not you know, email out a statement? Why did he want to do this to camera? Uh, some will say that's smart. Some will say that's not so smart. The fact that he said here in this senior citizen center is where I began my political career, I think some will take from that that he's trying to close a circle. Uh, and close this chapter and say he's now done with his congressional career. He did say that he wanted to find ways to continue to contribute, uh, that he hoped he would be forgiven by his constituents. You know, are there seeds of a potential Anthony Weiner comeback in that? I think, you know, sure, you can make that conclusion if that's where you want to go. I think today, though, his main point you mentioned at the beginning and the end, uh, he apologized again to his wife, uh, thanked her for standing by him. Of course, we have not seen her with him. When he's done these news conferences, he has been solo. Uh, but now, he, that's his challenge now that he's out of that room and he's no longer a member of Congress, is to deal with his life, uh, to deal with his life. And then we'll see if there's a future in politics. Dana Bash, our senior congressional correspondent, is up on Capitol Hill. Dana, you broke the news this morning that he had made that final decision to resign, that he had phoned the former House Speaker, the Democratic Minority Leader in the House, Nancy Pelosi, last night. Steve Israel, his good friend, another congressman from New York, uh, with, with his decision that would be announced today. Uh, it, to me, it, just reading the body language, hearing what he had to say, I would by no means rule out at some point down the road, maybe a year from now, five years from now, Anthony Weiner, it's in his blood, he might seek uh, political office once again. I don't think anybody should rule that out. I think you're exactly right. Uh, what was really striking also in, in watching this press conference where he formally announced that he was resigning, the difference between this and the press conference that he had a week ago, Monday, where he actually finally came out and admitted that he was the one who sent these pictures or, uh, the, of himself, uh, some very lewd pictures that he originally, originally said he did not send and that he was hacked. How emotional he was at that time, how choked up he was at that time. And, you know, after that wolf, I'm told by several sources who spoke to him throughout the past couple of weeks he was like that uh, privately on the phone trying to plead with his colleagues trying to plead with his friends uh, to give him some space to apologize very 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 emotional uh, in a state of despair I was told even turbulent but I'm told that when he made the call late yesterday to Democratic leaders that had changed and that he was much more composed uh, resolved and that he after he had actually made the decision uh, to go ahead and resign that was the Anthony Weiner we just saw in this press conference very different uh, he you know I'm not sure that he's at peace with this decision but he obviously realizes he had to make it and uh, and at least publicly now his his emotional state seems to be different yeah, it certainly does. Uh, Dana, stand by. John, stand by. I uh, want to take a quick break. Uh, the reaction is beginning to pour in already. We'll update you on what's going on in the fallout. From Anthony Weiner's resignation, much more coming up right after this.